Hello, uh, let's proceed with quadratic equations uh, whereby we are going to solve the equations by the use of the quadratic formula and the quadratic formula is as you can see here whereby x is normally equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac and all that you divide by 2n. So once you know the quadratic formula, another thing to always remember is the quadratic equation, the way that expression uh, looks like. And as we earlier mentioned, a quadratic equation is any expression of this format, of this form, ax squared plus bx plus c is equals to zero. So from this quadratic uh, equation this is where we are going to get the value for a the value for b the value for c and then we use those three values to solve the equation using the quadratic formula and as you can see here we have a we have b and we have c so once you know these values the value for a the value for b the value for c just go to your quadratic formula and just insert where you have a with its value where we have b with its value and where we have c with its value and then you can solve but one thing that i that i'll keep on emphasizing is when you uh, encounter some negative signs somewhere please pay much attention because once you forget just one negative sign then that one for that one is a guarantee that you won't get that question that question right and questions like these ones which have a formula already they are the easiest ones so you should always aim at, at getting all of them right especially the ones that have formulas so for instance if we had this one as let's say x squared minus x plus 2 is equals to 0 as you can see where we have the value for b we have a negative sign and from this equation the value for b you ask yourself what is the coefficient for that x the coefficient for x you can't see anything but we have a one somewhere there so that's the coefficient for x and that's the value for b and it should accompany its negative sign so the negative sign shouldn't be left behind so our b is equals to negative one and when we are, you are inserting it in the quadratic formula you will have your x is equals to minus and then another minus please remember that because these are the end it will now change to a positive one and then you can continue with the others um let's now look into some examples we are starting with example number one example number one x squared minus six x minus 7 is equals to 0. So the first thing is to identify the value of a, the value of b, and the value of c. Our value of a is equals to 1, right? What is the coefficient of x squared? That is the value of a. What is the value of b? Is the coefficient of x. And please don't forget the negative sign. So b is equals to negative 6, while c is equals to negative 7. And our quadratic formula, x is equals to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Then all these we divide by 2a. Therefore, x is equals to minus b minus. The value for b is has a negative sign already. So we'll have negative 6. negative 6 plus or minus the square root of b squared negative 6 squared minus 4 multiplied by a which is 1 multiplied by c which is negative 7 and all this we divide by 2 multiplied by 1 which is a value for a is equals to 2 x is equals to minus times another minus when you take a negative sign multiplied by another negative sign you get a positive sign so here i'll have six plus or minus the square root of that is six 
we have a minus and another minus there so that one becomes plus then four times one is four times seven is 28 and all these we divide by two so here we are going to have x is equals to six plus or minus uh, 36 plus 28 is six for the square root and then we divide by two x is equals to six plus or minus eight divided by two and our value for x1 is equals to what so first of all we'll start by addition then the other value will be now using the negative sign so x1 is equals to six plus eight divided by two is equals to 14 over two and that is equals to seven x2 is equals to six minus eight all over two this is the same as negative two all over two and that one is equals to negative one therefore x1 is equals to seven while x2 is equals to negative one hope we are together up to there let's go to example number two whereby we have x squared minus 5 over 6 x is equals to negative 1 over 6. When you have it like this, please, number one, remember a quadratic equation is of this form ax squared plus bx plus c is equals to 0. So we have to make sure that this equation is being equated to 0. And to make that one happen, we have to do it like this. We have x squared minus 5x 5 over 6x and then now we bring negative 1 over 6 now to the other side to join these others and this one turns to plus 1 over 6 and then we equate to 0 then we follow just the, the the normal way of what is the value of a what is the value of b the value of a is 1 the value of b is negative 5 over 6 and the value of c is equals to 1 over 6. So and whenever we have a negative sign, please always pay much attention because if you happen to forget the negative sign, then it means you will end up getting a wrong answer. And if you want to get it right, please pay attention. Uh -huh. So here we have x is equals to uh, the quadratic formula minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac and all these we divide by 2a x is equals to minus or b is negative 5 over 6 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 6 negative squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1 over 6 1 over 6 and all this we divide by 2 multiplied by 1 is 2 so this is going to be like this we will have x is equals to we had a minus and then into brackets minus 5 over 6 so that becomes 5 over 6 then plus or minus the square root of negative 5 over 6 squared that is 25 over 36 minus 4 over 6 you can even simplify and you will have 2 over 3 all this we divide by 2 this is the same as 5 over 6 plus or minus the square root now we have to subtract 25 over 36 minus 2 over 3 the LCM of 36 and 3 is 36 right 36 divided by 36 is 1, multiplied by 25 is 25, minus 36 divided by 3 is 12, hope we are together, 12 multi, uh, multiplied by 2 is 24, and we divide by 2, x is equal to 5 over 6, plus or minus 25 minus 24 is 1, all over 36 divided by 2. Okay?
And what is the square root of 1 over 36? The square root of 1 over 36. So our x is equals to 5 over 6 plus or minus 1 over 6 divided by 2. To get the two values of x, we start with the first one whereby we have to add the 2. And now the second value we subtract. So x1 is equals to 5 over 6 plus 1 over 6. This is equals to, oh, and we divide by 2, sorry. Uh, 5 over 6 plus 1 over 6 is equals to 6 over 6. And then we have to divide by 2. 6 over 6 is the same as 1, right? And therefore, there we have 1 over 2. x2 is equals to 5 over 6 minus 1 over 6 divided by 2. This is the same as 4 over 6 divided by 2. Nothing has changed. 4 over 6. Assume this one uh, is the same as just over 1. Any whole number, if, if you divide it by 1, it is still remains the way it is. And therefore, if we want now to change the division sign to multiplication, we have to find the reciprocal of 2 over 1, which is the same as 1 over 2. And this is equals to 4 over 12. And that one becomes 1 over 3. Therefore, our x1 is half, while x2 is equals to a third. Right. On to example number 3, x squared plus 7x plus 12 is equals to 0. So just the same way, a is equals to 1, b is equals to 7, and c is equals to 12. Once you get these values correct and you just use a quadratic formula, it will be very difficult to get such a question wrong. You know the quadratic formula, x is equals to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac and then we divide by 2a. We already have the values for a, the value for b, and the value for c. So it's just going to the formula and then we substitute the values for a, the value for a with 1, for b with 7, and for c with 12. Is equals to minus b is 7 plus or minus the square root of 7 squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 12. And then we divide by 2 times 1 is just 2. x is equals to minus 7 plus or minus. Please don't forget about the negative. Always pay much attention. Minus 7. And this negative sign is coming from where? It's coming from the quadratic formula, which always has a negative b, then plus or minus, and then it goes like that. Then uh, here we have 49 minus 48, right? 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 12 is 48, divided by 2. x is equals to minus 7 plus or minus 1, right? 49 minus 48 is 1, and the square root of 1 is 1. So here we'll have uh, x is equals to minus 7 plus or minus 1 all over 2. So to get the two values of x, starting with x1, we will have minus 7 plus 1 divided by 2, and this is equals to what? What is negative 7 plus 1? That's negative 6 all over 2, and then... That one becomes negative 3. x2 is equals to negative 7 again, but now we use the minus, minus 1, all over 2. This is equals to minus 7 minus 1. Hmm? Minus 7 minus 1. That's minus 8 divided by 2. And that one is equals to negative 4. Therefore, our x1 is equals to negative 3. While our x2 is equals to negative 4. Example number 4. We have 18x squared plus 9x is equals to 2. When you see such a question, please, the first thing uh, is to remember how does a quadratic equation look like. 
quadratic equation looks like this ax squared plus bx plus c is equals to zero does the above uh, equation look like that no but we can transform it to look like the quadratic equation and how do we do it we'll have 18x squared plus 9x and then we bring now 2 to the other side to join the others and then it becomes minus 2 and we equate with 0 do they look the same yes or no they do so once you match them uh, now remember from your quadratic uh, formula you need the value for a you need the value for b and you need the value for c right so our a is equals to 18 our b is equals to 9 and our c is equals to negative 2 our quadratic formula is x x is equals to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac and then all these we divide by 2n please remember 2a covers everything divides everything that is up above it x is equals to and don't forget the negative sign so we have minus b the value of b is 9 we have negative which is coming from the quadratic formula then 9 plus or minus the square root of b squared 9 squared minus 4 a multiplied by c and then all these we divide by 2 multiplied by a hope we are together up to there i hope so okay then we proceed like this we continue with x is equals to minus 9 plus or minus the square root of 9 multiplied by 9 or 9 squared is 81 minus 4 multiplied by 18 multiplied by 2 that one multiplied by a negative 2 a negative sign multiplied by another one becomes positive so here we have this as plus then 144 we divide by 2 multiplied by 18 that's 36 x is equals to minus 9 plus or minus square root of what is 81 plus 144 that should be 225 divided by 36 x is equals to minus 9 plus or minus what is the square root of 225 do you know it all right it's 15 all over 36 right okay so let's get the two values of x x1 is equals to minus 9 plus 15 all over 2 and this is equals to what is minus 9 plus 15 the same as 6 all over 2 and that's did i run somewhere oh sorry this is not 2 this is 36 i was wondering So now we can get the two values of x. Uh, we start by x1 is equals to minus 9 plus 15. Then we divide by 36. And this is equals to what is minus 9 plus 15? That's 6 over 36. When we simplify, we will get 1 over 6. We can continue to x2. x2. Now the value for x now the value for x2 which is equals to minus 9 minus 15 all over 36 and this is equals to minus 9 minus 15 that's negative 24 all over 36 can we simplify yes by 12 2 by 12 3 that is equals to negative 2 over 3 and therefore our answers are x1 is equals to 1 over 6 while x2 is equals to negative 2 over 3 and that's the end if you have any more questions you can post them in the comments section thanks bye